Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm going a little old school with the recording today. I have to use my phone, so I do apologize if the quality isn't as good as it normally is. However, my uh, camera is charging and my iPad's actually in the bag that I am about to show you. So this was the only option I had and I have very limited time between when my kids come home and I can do this. So anyways, I wanted to come on today and talk about a new bag that I got yesterday uh, and what the brand is, what the style is and what I'm using it for. So just a little quick little background as to what's going on right now with me and my family. We are uh, kind of settled in our house. Our household was, still isn't here yet. Um, my husband's back at work, my kids are back at school. I finally got a job working at a pharmacy that I used to work at when I lived here years and years ago. But at the same time, I actually got accepted into a um, master's program for uh, clinical counseling. It's to follow on from my psychology degree. So I'm not sure how I'm gonna fit it all in, but apparently we're gonna make it work, according to my husband. So that, that's gonna be happening on the off kind of times, as well as my kids and work. So anyways, it's gonna be crazy. But I wanted to get a bag that I could put all my study things in for this program so I can actually leave the house, go somewhere, set it up, do some reading, because it gets a little boring sitting in your house. And these are on days that I'm off, so I don't know when that's gonna be <laughs> quite yet, because I don't start the job until September. So I went and had a look at different brands uh, that offer kind of uh, laptop bags or study bags or that type of thing. And one of the ones that I had been eyeing for ages that I have watched a lot of other fellow YouTubers review is Dagny Dover. And they have a whole range of stuff in their collection. And one of the things that caught my eye that I thought would be really good and I find isn't a whole bunch of kind of reviews or talk about is the Rhyme laptop bag. So I did go ahead and get one. I got it in the Dune color, which is like a dusty pink. And I got the medium size because I'm not going to be taking my 15 inch laptop. So what I wanted to take was a iPad. I have a Fire Amazon, Eight or Kindle 8, it's like a little tablet that I was use to uh, read on, like do my readings. And then I ended up deciding to take a couple of college ruled notebooks and a whole bunch of other things. So <laughs> uh, I'd, I'll show you what the bag looks like here. So here it is here, I did unbox it yesterday. I did an unboxing, but I looked like horrible because I was about to go to the gym and I was all like. So I just decided to do the review and video today. So here it is in the dune color, and I'm sorry the lighting isn't fantastic. I don't have my equipment because of course it's in my household goods, so I'm relying on natural light and it's cloudy today. But anyways, it is a really pretty kind of dusty pink, and this is it here. It's a very basic electronic kind of laptop style bag, and I thought that I would be able to fit everything in here, including all my personal things, but I just couldn't make it work. I'll be honest, it wasn't big enough, it wasn't wide enough. So anyway, I'll go into that when I start to unpack it and show you how I ended up, did packing it up for my uh, university or college kind of study needs. It is a neoprene wipeable material, very lightweight, but not too lightweight that I like. So that's another thing I liked about it. And I do really like it, I did take it out and use it today. So I'll give you a little first impressions as I'm unpacking it about the features and I'll show you how I have everything packed in here. I'm just got it popped up on my kitchen table at the moment. So as I said, this is the medium size Rhine laptop bag. Uh, I chose this one with the pocket in the front. There is another one that doesn't have a pocket, but I chose this one because I wanted a little bit of extra organization. So on the front here, you do have the, I think this is a silicon or rubber. I'm not quite sure on the material, but it does feel like a, probably a rubber. Uh, the Dagny Dover logo right here. And you got chunky, nice chunky zippers open up the bag you do have some totes handles that do sit um, on my shoulder nicely I will do one on the body for you guys at the end so you can see how it fits on me and on the back here there is a little pocket that fits a cell phone uh, my iPhone 10 fits in there it does kind of stretch out a little bit and then there is this slip pocket here to go over a suitcase handles. I do kind of wish maybe there was like in a lot of other bags where you could kind of zip that close and have this as just a slip pocket. That would be really handy. But you know, that's how it is there. On the sides here, there's this band that comes down here and nice quality D-rings where you can attach the messenger strap, which is a nice thickness. 
And then on the bottom here, it's like a panel down the bottom here. And I, really, I do really like the way they designed this. I think it looks really nice. One of the first things that kind of bugged me about this, now I, I do really love the design, I do, except for the fact that the base doesn't seem to be, well, there we go, now it's standing up, but it seems to always want to fall over. So if I, so you just kind of pop it and it falls. It's mainly front heavy because you do have this pocket in the front here. So that's the only thing, and I'll, I'll you'll kind of see when I go into it, another reason why I don't like that it's wide enough, just for when you're packing it. So if the base was a little bit wider, that would be a little, just a tad bit, you know, more convenient and usable for me, but I still like it. I still think it sits really nicely on the body. So this pocket here does open up the top. I kind of wish it, it did a, like a little curve because then you could get into it better, but nice chunky zippers and you can kind of get into it like that. And in this pocket, I do have my sunglasses. This is a handmade sunglass case, which I will put the link down, the Facebook page down for the lady who makes these. It's really, really nice. It kind of, um, like, you know, like those little bendy metal bits, I can't think of the word. I don't, they don't magnetize, I don't think. They just kind of snap together. So I do have my glasses in there. And then I also have a small set piece with my charging bank in it. This is in the Forget Me Not print. And then I have in the in the pocket here, there are two slots, that, but they're not very deep. I'm not sure what they're supposed to be for. I don't even know if you could fit a credit card in there. They don't feel deep at all. I just have a couple of little, these are little um, Tokidoki bookmarks that I was going to use in my notebook. And I just noticed one of them is chewed by my puppy. Yay. <laughs> Joys of a puppy. There are also two pen loops here. And in one of the pen loops, I have my Apple Pencil. This is my iPad. And that's it. It's all I put in there. So... It's a nice big pocket though. I'll just take off this messenger strap quick. Okay, so this is the hardware of the messenger strap, which is actually quite nice. It's nice, well made hardware, it doesn't feel flimsy at all. You can unsnap this at the top here. Whoops, do you know what I mean by flipping back and forth? And it snaps pretty good. You can't take this off though. That's the only thing, this little rubber thing. So, but you can kind of push it down to the side if you want, if you don't want to in the way. And then at this pocket back here, this goes pretty far down. It goes like, I mean, I can't even fit my hands. There's still more rooms. So probably goes down to about here. I just have my Beats headphones, wireless headphones in there. But I mean, I can show you, this is the case to my iPhone 10 and it does fit in there. So you can fit a phone in there easy. So there are two zipper pulls here so you can unzip it on both sides big zippers zipper pulls and this does go down on the side a little bit and then it opens up like this so one of the reasons why I chose this particular laptop bag is because it had two kind of slip pockets for electronic devices and both are nicely padded so first of all you can see the Dagny Dover label is right there as well on the inside so I guess we'll go through these pockets first. It does shut with an elastic uh, tab here that Velcros. There is a specific spot on here that it Velcros to. So I just unvelcro that and it does kind of come out like this so you can see how it's elasticized. So if you have bigger things in this po these pockets, it will go over the top of those. So in the back slip pocket, I have two notebooks for my courses because I'm doing two at the moment. And this particular pocket is all neoprene and it's a little bit padded, but I just, my items do feel really nice and secure and padded, you know, protected in there. And then in the other pocket, which is slightly smaller, I have a, um, my iPad. And before I show this, it's kind of cool. This pocket here is a mesh, but it's a nice, thick, kind of made mesh. It's not flimsy or terrible. You couldn't tear this and it's light. It's got the trim at the top too. So that makes it you know, really nice and secure in there. So when you do close this up here, so that's what it looks like with the two pockets. See how it's not very wide. So when you have those things in there, there is not much room at all in the center here. So before I show you the rest, continue. Here is the what I wanted to show you with my iPad. So I have an iPad Pro 9.7 inch. This is a case and a keyboard that I got off Amazon and I will put the link down below. It comes with the case and it also comes with the little key keyboard. You can see that light's kind of funky. 
No, it's widening it out. <laughs> so you get using, using a phone. Okay, this actually magnetizes to the uh, case, which is really cool. And it is, it's a full keyboard. So see if I can, no, I can't show you. Anyway, it's a full keyboard. It's got an on off switch, a connect switch. It's wireless. Uh, it's very nice tactile feeling to type on this. And this whole thing, case and the keyboard, only cost me $40 from Amazon compared to the hundred odd dollars that they would want at the Apple store and they don't make them for my iPad anyway because my iPad's a little bit older. And then you just fold it up like this and it's very, very portable like that. Okay, going back into the center of the bag here, you do, there is a key leash on this side that you can attach your keys to. It is removable, which I just noticed. <laughs> so you can take it off and there's a hook on both sides. So hook on this side too. You can see that at all guys right there so you can attach this to either side i'm presuming that's what that's for or you could attach another pouch or anything so you can kind of decide where you want your keys or if you want to take those off and attach other things on there so that's all the pockets on that side turn this around now so you can see this side there are two mesh pockets same mesh quality as on the other side and they're quite big so i actually have a medium set piece in here by jujube this is in the nahal narwhal sorry the narwhal print i forget what the what the official name of it was, but anyways. And I'm just using this as a pencil case. So I've got like highlighters and pens and pencils and things in there. But that fits really well in there. And then on the other side, I've actually got my Amazon Fire 8. So this is the eight inch one, and this is fantastic. If you're looking for just a simple, cheap tablet to have for the kids, because you've got a whole bunch of kids apps and stuff you can do on there, I downloaded all the regular apps I have on my iPad, iPad that I would need, plus my reading app for school, plus my Blackboard app for school, and it's all accessible on here. And this was really, really handy to sit and read, do my readings today instead of having my iPad. Plus this is portable. So if I wanted to go just without anything else and just take this to read, I could and not have to take everything else. So those are in those two pockets. And then this pocket back, there's another zip pocket back here nice really cool material i don't actually have anything back there but i just wanted to show you so a medium set piece will fit back there perfectly so if you have one of those put all sorts of things back there it's a nice big pocket so that's what it looks like empty now it does look pretty pretty good right pretty wide but once you put things in these pockets here it really kind of uh, reduces that space and ends up like this so that's the only complaint I have about this bag is it needs to be wider. Everything else is fantastic. I love it. It's perfect for what I need, but I can't fit all my stuff in there that I would normally take like just for me, like my handbag things. So I had to take my little canvas rough and tumble open pocket sling, which was, was fine because I figured if I was going to go somewhere else and I could put this in the car and just take this out, right? But I would like to be able to put everything in one bag if I could. But I do love this Dagny Dover Ryan laptop bag. It's a cute bag. It's nice and lightweight, great quality, wipes down easy. You don't have to worry about it in the rain or anything like that. So there you go, guys. I hope that helped you guys get an idea of this particular bag, uh, brand and style. If you have any questions or comments, please pop them below. If you'd like to see this packed up, in any other way, say it's a diaper bag. I'm not sure how I would do it, but I can try for you guys. Uh, just put, so, put that in the comments below and I'll, I'll see if I can go ahead and do that. Stay tuned for some on the body shots and I'll see you next time. Bye.